Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Sid Meier's Colonization. Uh, this is this is the original DOS version of the game. Uh, it came out in 1994, uh, which is a bit after Civ 1, uh, a bit before Civ 2, so you'll probably see some similarities there in, in the interface. Uh, basically, the idea here is we are settling the New World. This stuff takes place in the start of the 15th century, late 15th century, and we run a few hundred years up to uh, hopefully declaring independence. Um, if uh, I, I I really love this game. This is this is one of my when you ask me to list my, my favorite games, this is just as up there with, with XCOM and, and Civ and, and Master Ryan. This is this is definitely up there. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to start a game in the new world. We know what America looks like. Actually let's go ahead and customize it. Let's see. Um, let's try a big continent. We'll do that. Um, yeah, lots of land, lots of continents. We'll, yeah, we'll be, uh, sure, we'll do that. And everything else is good. Difficulty, I think I'm going to just take the middle road. You can do uh, Discover is easy. Oh, this is easiest, easy. Middle of the road, Conquistador, then Governor, and Viceroy is tough. So we'll stick with the middle road. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Oh, the cycles here in my DOS box. And this is this is your uh, your sieve, basically. You can pick. You can, uh, they all have their own bonuses. Um, England is big on immigration. They will send you lots of folks uh, for free to your to your borders. To your lands. Um, other choices are you have the French, which are big on cooperating with the Indians. You get uh, Indians will help you, and you can get along with them without them attacking you, most likely. Spain, uh, they just kill people. That's Spain's thing. And the Dutch are big on trade. Um, if you're going to go for money, um, that's usually the way to go. I like the Netherlands. Usually, typically, I like the Netherlands or the French. Either way, uh, I think I'm going to do the Netherlands this time. Um, really, what their power uh, is uh, the 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 new or the old world's markets are more stable. Uh, so they don't fluctuate quite as much. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go for the money route. As for my name, we Nook. Nook is a little bit short. Let's be Nook, the Nook the naive. There we go. <laughs> yes. All right. I'll let you read that. Uh, basically says yada yada. We are good on trade. We are good traders. That's what we do. Represent the strength of the Dutch economy. We start uh, so the, the um, prices don't collapse as bad as uh, the other other um, sieves, and we also get a free uh, merchantman, which it doesn't say here. So here's our king. I don't know the king of the Netherlands was at the time. 1492. For the greater glory of the Netherlands, we dub the Viceroy of the New World. Go on, go and explore this new land, settle it, and bring wealth and glory to yourself and our nation. We'll do, King and Strange Dog. We go. We're loading up the boat. And we're gonna get out of here. All right, here we are. We are in the new world. We're about to discover it, actually. It's fish. There we go. There it is. New world. We found it. What should we call it? New Netherlands. Netherlands. I'm um, sure. That works. So now the first thing we need to do is we need to find a place to set our first city up. Um, as you can see, there's already some Indians here. There's Indians. Lots of Indians around. This actually might be a really good spot right here. Uh, the cities on this game, unlike Civ, you only get one square of uh, radius to, to work. Which, uh, I was, actually, I kind of like it because it makes it to where your cities are a lot more um, focused. You can't have just one city do everything. You have to really build specific cities with specific jobs. Which is what I like. Ooh, we got some competition with those Indians there, but... Oh, here we go. We're meeting the natives. It's the Apache. They have 15 camps. You guys are pretty big. We will smoke the peace pipe. Are we? Yes. Peace as brothers. Smoke a peace pipe to celebrate our perpetual friendship. Alrighty. And I can trade with the Indians. And I'm going to be using them to have them train my uh, my colonists. Oh, what is Spain doing here already? I don't want to meet Spain already. Let's see. Let's check out this little place here. Hopefully it's not a tiny little island. Is it a tiny little island? Okay, good. Here's some silver, which is nice. Here, we'll go ahead and Actually, I'm going to let the soldier build the city. New Amsterdam. Building the first colony of the New World. And we are all Indian up. We need to get... I don't know whoever the, what the guy's name is, but we, so we can get this Indian land here. First, we're going to ring some Liberty Bells. Drop off the boat, and immediately we start hollering for independence. We're going to plow the land there. The music on this game is incredible. Giant the cavalry. 
All right, so this is um, this is really the, like the science of the game, I guess, or the social tracks, maybe. Uh, whenever you build Liberty Bells, um, it goes towards getting new founding fathers of your Continental Congress, and each one of them has a really special thing. Um, Adam Smith allows you to build factories, which is awesome, but not this part of the game. The Sal uh, will give us free um, stockades. Revere is nice. Uh, if I get attacked, my colonists will automatically grab weapons and fight back. Pocahontas is nice because she makes it to where Indians aren't as angry as me as fast. And William Penn gives me cross production. Crosses. The more crosses I make, the more people will show up on my docks. Um, so, um, I might just use Pocahontas just to make sure I keep the Indians happy. I didn't get to what I was wanting there. These uh, gold coins here are, um, like, basically they're goodie huts from Civ. Look out here, and then we'll head back. In fact, we might just hang around here for a minute and go up and grab some furs, which I think is what we have going on here. Yeah, we're making two furs there. We might grab some of these furs before we head back, so we can buy some horses. Oh, some, so here we go. Yeah, indentured servants are waiting at the docks for me to come back. They want to go to the new world. This is just telling me that I'm making some Liberty Bells. Yeah, good job. The more Liberty Bells, Liberty Bells you make, the happier your people, or the more productive your people will be. Um, of course, you need them later on in the game for uh, a revolution. Let's grab some furs, and... Actually, I'm going to wait one turn and see if these Indians are going to drop something off for me. Oh, there's some lumber we picked up from Clarence Up. Oh, there we go. There's some tobacco from the Apache. Eight furs. I thought I waited. I'm going to load up the boat. Some furs and some tobacco. I'm gonna show Europe this amazing furs and tobacco we found here. And we're gonna go plow over here. It might be a good spot for a city right here as well. I, I said this before, but you only get one square of production. So this city will be good on making ore. Um, which ore leads to tools, tools leads to buckets, muskets. So, oh, after I plow that, I get, I get uh, tobacco here now. Nice. Um, and if I put a city here, this city will be a good silver mining city. Make some good, some, some good money. Uh, and wood, obviously. Yep, steady as she goes, we're heading back to England. Uh, we won't do our city just yet. We actually, you know, with those, with those indentured servants, we might be able to go ahead and plow that up. Cargo from the New World. Yes, tobacco and furs. 72 bucks there. 27. Uh, obviously, we can't buy. You can So you have three choices here when you're in the old world. Uh, you can either recruit guys that are waiting to go, which those expert fishermen would be would be nice, and the cal carpenters would be very nice. Uh, criminals are lousy. But if we had 180 gold, we could do that, but we don't. You can also buy ships or artillery, which we'll be buying artillery eventually. Or you can specifically pick who you want. And some of these are pretty expensive. That's why these... Uh, the carpenters are expensive. A thousand bucks a piece, that's why we want, we want him. As for now, we're just going to take some horses. Just We're just going to take a couple horses, because they will breed. Oh, I can't use enough keys. There we go. And I think that's all we're going to... Well, I'm going to see if I can trade these tools away. I didn't look and see what the Indians wanted. Um, yeah. Let's take some tools and see if we can trade them away to make some money. can do our tools. How much money do I have? Let's just do 40 tools. If I would learn to stop using my numpad, which doesn't seem to like this game. There we go. Alright, back to the new world. Alright, Pocahontas is already here. It's Liberty Bells. So now the Indians will be happy with me. Indians' uh, attention levels are reduced in half. Um, if you walk around Indian land with... Uh, um, Military units, artillery, that kind of thing, they get pretty hacked off. And they can attack you. So that'll keep the Indians at bay for now. We'd like to be peaceful with the Indians because we can get um, uh, some good trade going with them, make some good money. Minuit. Indians no longer demand payment for the land. That is who we want. That is the man we want. Right there. So now I'll be able to get all this land without having to pay for it. Normally right now I could have to do this out of to pay them 195 gold, or I could just demand it, 
Just thinking, this is our land now. Um, which doesn't make the Apache real happy. I can't imagine why. To enter an Indian village, and we're going to see if they want my tools. You don't want tools. Your know, horses, rum, and cigars. I should have looked before I bought these tools. I can use them anyway. Get away, Spanish. I like the Spanish being so close. Serving. We're going to top our horses off, and as you can see, we're making an extra horse. I didn't really go through the city screen real, real good, so I'll do that now. So, in your city screen, this should be familiar if you're familiar with Civ. This is my city, and this is whenever I produce something, I can send my farmers out there, or whatever they're going to do. Um, we can get furs, we can get lumber out here. This is putting my hair outside the city more so we're not having to feed them. Um, so, that, that is working the land there. Um, each of these buildings here are different tasks, jobs that the citizens can do. So right now this guy, my, my free citizen, free colonist here, is, is making Liberty Bells. Um, and you can eventually build more things. So right now we can, we're not working on docks right now, but we can eventually build something along in here. Um, to build things you need hammers, and to get hammers you need wood. So I would need somebody to be here build, um, chopping down trees, give me wood. And once I have wood, which is right here, I have 20 tons of lumber, lumber I could build, I could put him over in a blacksmith house and have him, not blacksmith, uh, carpenter shop, and build tools, or hammers, hammers. And as you can see, hammer, it takes 52 hammers to build docks. Once I got 52 hammers, docks are built. So that's kind of the basics uh, of the game. So as you can see, it's it's really important to kind of specialize cities. Um, because you, you can't really cram a lot in here and the, and the land is so small. Which is actually one thing I really like about the game. Uh, rather than just having massive cities, you have specific cities doing whatever their job is. Um, as for now, what this guy's gonna do, um, I guess I'm just gonna have him. I'm gonna have him. I don't know what I should have. Him. I can't do anything without starving, can I? Yeah. Um, this just I means I'm short of food, so I'll take away my food. I have only seven tons of spare food. I can have him just do food for now until I get another citizen in. And we can go build another town. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. More tobacco. Thank you, Apache. I need to remember what these guys want. What the Apache want. I know Rum was one of them. Do I have anything here? I can take some of my tobacco, tobacco back. Might as well. And with this tobacco, you can later build a... Um, Tobacconist? You have a tobacconist shop already, you can and expand onto that. Turns tobacco into cigars, which you can sell for more than tobacco. So we're gonna go ahead and head back. Sell this stuff. Steady as she goes. And we have petty criminals waiting in Amsterdam, which we don't want petty criminals, they're kinda lousy. Yeah, yeah, this is just telling me, as soon as I get um, up to 50% of my colony supporting revolution, then I get a plus one production bonus, which right now, 0% support it. 20, 0 people, 20%. Let's so plow that. Um, let's go ahead and plow another one of these. Let's so pick up our lousy... These guys are pretty terrible. Rum is expensive, so I'm not going to be able to sell that to them. Trade goods might be okay, though. We'll see what they do. We'll see. I'll probably turn this... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... We're going to go build a city. I'm going to give you a second city. You become a colonist. And you two are going to come over here and build my city. And I'm going to have my criminal be a uh, pioneer. Because they're really worthless at... Uh, I already said this before, at, at producing, uh, doing anything inside the town. We're gonna build it here. Fort Orange. Right here. So, we got lots of fur, and he's already working on the silver. Which we don't want to do that. We want Liberty Bells. Ring those bells. And you're gonna join him. Tory sentiment is on the rise. Alright, so you can go ahead and pick up... I got 40 tools here, I can go ahead and give you those. Uh, not statements, not a statement. 
Pioneer way. For here, I'm going to have you... Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do with you? I'm going to send you to an Indian village. And if you, you can go to your Indian villages, and they will train you uh, specific things. I need to get a scout. That way I can uh, explore a little better. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and load up here. Horses. It's going back and forth for now. And you go ahead and plow there. More tobacco. Sugar. Sure. She'll wait a turn. And plow that. Liberty Bells are up 41%. It's not a big deal right now. I need to turn that window off, probably. Alright, we're going to see if we can go live among the natives. The, the, the Apache are wave at me, waving at me happily. And then here I can become a sugar planter. Sure, I'll become... Do I make a sugar planter? Sure, I'll do. Congratulations. Better than nothing. Better than an initial servant. Oh, I got a free colonist in here. Alright, nice timing. Buy a guy? We can. We can buy a, a master carpenter. I think I want him more than the lumberjack. Carpenter it is. Alright, let's go. Do I have any more money? I'm out of money. Okay, let's go. And I think that is a good place to put an end in the episode. Um, I'm going to do something a little different this time if you're used to my channel. I typically put things out usually every other day or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to do... Um, these are just going to be little 15 minute episodes, make it uh, easy. And I'm going to do a new episode every day. So I will have a new colonization episode daily. Um, so uh, be sure to check that out. And uh, like the videos if you like them. And be sure to subscribe and watch out for those daily videos. So thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks.